Hey guys, um, today I thought I'm going to be making a Kitmele donut, it's called a Bola. Um, so yeah, I just woke up and decided to make this since it's Sunday, no more sisters, but I thought I'd make this. Um, right now I'm whisking 5 tablespoons of sugar and 2 eggs. I forgot to reveal the start and afterwards I realized. Right now, I'm adding 5 tablespoons of oil, so right now it's 5 tablespoons sugar, 5 tablespoons oil, and 2 eggs in the bowl. I've never done this before. So the other reason why I decided to make these was because I had the ingredients to make the colors. Um, let me rather call it donut because I can't it. And um, I didn't have the ingredients to make the cake made spicy. It's just a like a spice donut. And this was my favorite to make. And I think a lot of people did make this on the lockdown. Since we like something. The second reason why I prepared everything is also to make sure I actually have all the ingredients. So I sifted my flour ahead of time. One, two, three, go! And I'm mixing all that together. You can use an electric mixer, I misplaced it. So early in the morning I didn't feel like looking for it, so I thought elbow grease is gonna work for this. Um what you'll see right now is my mixture looks kind of a bit of stiff so I thought of adding um, I should have adding more milk to it I was going to add more butter milk but then it wasn't in the lift so I added a bit of milk to the mixture to loosen it up a bit and it helped a lot because even though I didn't make it before it seemed a bit stiff for me and I didn't want to have like a thick donut I want After my mixture was finished, I let it stand aside for about 30 minutes and then I heated some oil in a small pot. Now guys, like I said this is my first time making it and I use 
the tablespoon to put the mixture in the hot oil. Um, my pot is at, at a medium high heat right now. So my first few actually turn out pretty good. Um, if you don't mind big ones, you can make big ones, so it's fine. But my mom told me you can actually use a teaspoon before they do pop up. This is my first time making it at try and fail. But after the first batch, I did make the other Another tip for frying is that these will actually turn around on the end and make it brown from the top. If they don't turn around, you can turn around. As you guys can see, I put a few at a time in the pot. My pot was pretty small, um, since I didn't want to use a lot of oil, so patience is key. You'll know they're ready when they are a nice golden, light golden brown color. Um, I made mine too big, like I said, between so I can them in the yeah, You'll feel when you take them out the right side. Right now, I'm making the syrup. Oh, that's how much I got. I don't get that. Um, right now, I'm making the syrup as one cup of sugar with one cup of water and a piece of cinnamon. And after that, cook through a nice thin syrup, I let the syrup cool down and then we can the rest of the syrup. Um, while I was making the syrup, I realized I didn't have any desiccated coconut. If you do have, add it, but it was nice just as is as well. My husband enjoyed it. There you go. Enjoy! <laughs> 